The Spanish Grand Prix has been a permanent fixture on the Formula One calendar for over 30 years now, and for good reason. Do you remember Michael Schumacher's absolute dominance here in that rain-soaked Grand Prix in 1996? That day he took his first ever victory for Ferrari, and we've had many more iconic moments since. It's a sellout crowd of 140,000 here today as we await lights out for the 730 meter sprint down to turn one at this 2.9 mile racetrack. Overtaking is challenging through these 16 corners, but there's still a lot of high speed excitement to be found, including the flat out turn three and the terrifying blind right of turn nine. Anthony Davidson is alongside me as usual for the race today. Let's have a chat about Williams. We have a number of changes to the aerodynamic regulations this year and the signs haven't looked good for them so far in terms of getting to grips with those changes. There are a few downcast looks within the team this weekend. I think they've been hit fairly hard by the new regs, but this is only the first step down a long road of development. And even if they don't maximize their points today, there are plenty more up for grabs this season. Before we begin, let's take a quick look at the grid lineup for today's race. Good job yesterday from Valtteri Bottas. The Finn starts from pole position and Lando Norris lines up alongside. As we continue through the rest of the grid today, we have Ricardo, Hamilton, Charles Leclerc and Sainz, Stroll, Gasly, Sonoda and Luca Giotto, Giovinazzi, Ocon, Max Verstappen and Perez. Vettel, Iceman, George Russell, and Mick Schumacher, Rosberg, Latifi, Daruvala, and Nikita Mazepin. And with lights out just moments away, it's time to go down to the track. After the points finish last race, let's aim to keep the momentum going. an impact. Let me know you're okay. They've done it then. A spectacular victory here in Spain and a massive confidence boost going into the next race. Anthony Davidson, what helped them deliver this result, do you think? Well, this was a real team victory. They put together a solid strategy today that appeared well suited to the conditions out on track. The driver did everything that was expected of them in the moment to really execute the team's plan to perfection. A shining example of how F1 really is a team sport. So after a magnificent race, we can now see the drivers making their way to the podium. Once again, it's the Silver Arrows who take top spot. A well-earned victory for Mercedes. And now let's take a look at the driver's standings. Valtteri Bottas takes the top spot. He's our new Drivers' Championship leader after today's result. Let's focus on the driver of the day, Anthony Davidson. Who do you pick? Often my go-to would be a driver who's managed to pull off an especially impressive feat during the race. However, in this instance, I was more impressed by Max Verstappen's solid, clean driving throughout the event. Let's move on to the constructors. Mercedes move to the top of the table. Meanwhile, Ferrari have improved their position. A strong weekend from them as they fight their way towards the top. Well, that was certainly an incredible weekend of racing. Be sure to join myself and Ant for more exciting Formula One action soon. Well, it's great to be back at your headquarters and I've got to say, an awful lot's changed since we were last here. Let's dive in with some questions. Sources inside your team have described the environment as a pressure cooker, with growing concerns about how much pressure your staff are under to hit deadlines. Care to comment? Your team's had their first win in Formula One. Is this a sign of things to come?
Other teams have invested more in their facilities than you have. Are you happy with what you have, or is there a cash flow issue? I saw a lot of activity that looks like durability testing. Has this been a focus of yours recently? Your second driver really seems to be improving at a rapid pace. How dedicated are they? Well, thanks a lot for inviting us here. It's been fantastic. We're back once again beside the St. Lawrence River here in Montreal for the Canadian Grand Prix. The event first moved to a variant of this track back in 1978. It was won by none other than Gilles Villeneuve, the first Canadian to ever win his home race and in whose honour the circuit would be renamed. With top speeds of around 210 miles per hour heading into the overtaking opportunity of turn 13, the 2.7 miles of the circuit Gilles Villeneuve are some of the quickest on the Formula One calendar. There are 14 corners in total, with 60% of the lap taken at full throttle. And average lap speeds clock in at about 130 miles per hour. Also here, of course, is Anthony Davidson. Let's start with Alfa Romeo. We have a number of changes to the aerodynamic regulations this year, and the signs haven't looked good for them so far in terms of getting to grips with those changes. There are a few downcast looks within the team this weekend. I think they've been hit fairly hard by the new regs but this is only the first step down a long road of development. And even if they don't maximize their points today, there are plenty more up for grabs this season. It's time to take a look at our starting grid for today's race. Lewis Hamilton lines up on pole position and Valtteri Bottas will line up alongside. Considering the rest of the grid, we have Norris, Iceman, Daniel Ricciardo and Verstappen, Leclerc, Giotto, Gasly and Lance Stroll. Giovinazzi, Perez, Carlos Sainz, and Ocon, Sonoda, Russell, Sebastian Vettel, and Nikita Mazepin, Mick Schumacher, Rosberg, Darivala, and Nicholas Latifi. Which of these talented drivers will come out on top today?
DRS will be enabled this lap. You can use it when within one second of the car ahead and in the DRS zone. start to see a loss of power. Strategy is available on the MFD. window, you'll be on the mediums. Gap to teammate behind is 14.2 seconds.
OK, the gap behind is 2.8 seconds. We're going to box this lap, push hard on the in-lap. We're leading our teammate by 21.2 seconds. Nico has come into the pits, he's in the pit lane now. Exit, exit now. Look after these tyres now. We want to finish the race on this compound.
Okay, focus. We need to stay on form. Okay, you need to give that position back. That was an illegal overtake. Laps of fuel remaining. Top job, my friend, top job. I was a bit worried about this one at the start of the weekend, but you've pulled through. Thank you. A truly magnificent drive then, and a great performance from the entire team to secure victory here in Canada. So, Anthony, what made the difference out there today? Well, I think it was clear what the main contributing factor out on the track was today, speed. I know it sounds like an obvious thing to say, Crofty, but fast cars win races, and we saw that today with our winner. After an excellent performance at the Grand Prix, I'm sure there'll be plenty of celebrations tonight amongst the Mercedes team, and they certainly deserve it. So then, it's time to see how this result affects the Drivers' Championship. Lewis Hamilton takes over the lead of the Drivers' Championship after an excellent result. Some amazing talent out on the track today, but Anthony, who would you pick as your driver of the day? Well, Lance Stroll would be my pick. He managed to keep a cool head today whilst pushing through the field. It's time to check out the Constructors' standings. Mercedes continue to extend their lead. After an event like that, who knows what the sport has in store for us next time. Be sure to join us again as we continue to bring you the latest excitement in Formula One. Amazing performance out there. I'm sure you're pretty happy with that. You're breaking all expectations. What's your secret? Things were close between you and your rival, but it looks like you're coming up top, doesn't it? You left a lot of paint on the walls today. Were you struggling for grip or did you just misjudge some corners? 
Great. Well, that's everything. <laughs>